who I'd like to introduce next is Lawrence Aldrich, Vice President of Disney. Lawrence? Um, for, you're probably not, not everybody's going to like what I'm going to say this afternoon, but at least our, my clip should be loud enough to keep you all awake until cocktail hour. Uh, the one thing I can guarantee is a, a form of enticement. I will be the only speaker today who mentioned pixie dust several times in his presentation. So after all the, uh, the testosterone of Formula One, as you probably gathered, I'm, I'm here to offer a, a somewhat different perspective to traditional sports sponsorship. I hope uh, the video gave you an idea of the size and scope of the Walt Disney Company. What began as a little cartoon studio in 1923 is now a major global enterprise with three well-recognized brands, Disney, ABC, and ESPN. Our blueprint for growth has stayed true to Walt's own vision. We create superb and lasting entertainment to engage the whole family from classics like Snow White and Bambi, to recent hits like Enchanted, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Ratatouille. We use technology to bring that entertainment to consumers, however and whenever they want it, whether it's by cable, satellite, iTunes, streaming, or other means. And like many of you, we are focused on the high growth markets, which nowadays include Russia, China, and India. That said, since the 1930s, Disney's had a strong international presence, bringing our high-quality creative content to multiple global markets. And I thought, given the global audience here today, I thought you'd enjoy this clip from Pocahontas, which highlights the attention we pay to the international marketplace. You think I'm an ignorant savage, and you've been so many places, I guess it must be so, but still I cannot see if the savage one is me. How can there be so much that you don't know? You don't know. Do, 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 do